Antonio Fuentes Trillanes IV, born August 6, 1971, also known as Sonny, is a retired Navy officer currently serving as a Senator of the Philippines. He was a vice presidential candidate in the 2016 Philippine presidential elections. Early life Trillanes was born and raised in Caloocan, to Philippine Navy Capt. Antonio Floranza Trillanes Sr., PMA Class, 59, of Ligao City, Albay, and Estelita Dia Fuentes from Ivasan, Capiz. He is brother of Antonio Jr. and Antonio III. Education his elementary years were spent at Siena College, Quezon City from 1975 to 1983, and from 1983 to 1987, his secondary education was at Angelicum College in Quezon City. In 1990, while a fourth-year B.S. in Electronics and Communication Engineering ECE student from De La Salle University on Taft Avenue, Manila, he took and passed the PMA entrance examination. Military career he formally entered into public service the following year as a cadet in the Philippine Military Academy where he graduated cum laude in 1995, while earning a degree in B.S. Naval System Engineering. Other awards he received while in PMA are the Mathematics Plaque, Physical Science Plaque, and the Tambuli Award for Electrical, Electronics Engineering. In 2002, Trillanes took up his graduate studies at the National College of Public Administration and Governance at UP Diliman, and got his master's degree in public administration, major in public policy and program management. For the duration of the master's program, he received two university scholar awards for obtaining two semestral GPAs of 1.0 to 1.25 and a college scholar award for obtaining a semestral GPA of 1.25 to 1.50. Political career Oakwood Mutiny Trillanes was known for leading the 2003 Oakwood Mutiny when he and 321 junior officers and enlisted men of the armed forces of the Philippines who called themselves Bagong Katipuneros took over the Oakwood Premier Ayala Center, now a Scott Makati, service department tower in Makati City as protest for alleged rampant corruption of the Gloria Macapagal Arroyo administration in the Philippine government, in the armed forces of the Philippines. He was imprisoned for treason for almost seven and a half years. Manila Peninsula Siege Trillanes filed his Certificate of Candidacy on February 7, 2007, to run as an independent senatorial candidate despite being detained for complicity in a failed coup d'état. Later, he accepted an invitation from the Genuine Opposition Party GO, as one of its guest candidates to field against the Arroyo administration. He campaigned successfully, while in jail, through the social networking site, Friendster. Trillanes was proclaimed senator-elect on June 15, 2007 by the Commission on Elections. He is the second youngest senator after Benigno Aquino Jr. elected at the age of 35. His party mate Bam Aquino joined him as youngest senator elected in 2013. On July 23, 2007, Trillanes motion for an arrangement with the Makati RTC that would allow him to fulfill his duties as a senator while under detention, and to allow him to attend the SONA, remained unacted upon. A week after, Judge Oscar Pimentel denied Trillanes' plea to be granted leave from detention to attend Senate sessions, and to set up an office inside Fort Bonifacio in Taguig City where he had been detained. In response to Trillanes continued imprisonment despite his election as senator, former University of the Philippines President Francisco Nemenzo Jr. and former Vice President Tiafisto Guingona Jr. of Civil Society launched the Paglincoran C. Trillanes, Let Trillanes Serve movement in Pasay City on August 23, 2007. Akbayan representative Riza Hontiveros, Ana Maria Nemenzo of the Freedom from Debt Coalition, opposition leader Jose Alquaz, and Trillanes. Spokesperson Sonny Rivera, were present. In the Senate election held in May 2007, Trillanes successfully launched a nationwide campaign from his prison cell as he ran and won a seat in the Philippine Senate on a shoestring budget. 
He was elected to the Senate as guest candidate for the anti-administration genuine opposition ticket, and assumed office on June 30, 2007. He made history for being the first Philippine senator to be elected while in jail when more than 11 million people voted him into office. On November 29, 2007, Trillanes, together with the soldiers facing coup d. Atat charges in connection with the 2003 Oakwood mutiny, marched out of the courtroom while attending a hearing towards the Peninsula Manila Hotel in Makati City, to reiterate their call for the ouster of then-President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, notwithstanding calls from civil society groups to allow Trillanes to serve as senator pursuant to his election, Judge Oscar Pimentel denied Trillanes. S. Petition to attend Senate sessions on September 20, 2007, for lack of merit, ruling that his incarceration would not be a bar to fulfilling his duties as a senator. His petition, having been denied by the lower court, Senator Trillanes filed a petition with the Supreme Court of the Philippines, asking that his petition to be allowed to attend Senate sessions be granted. Representing him was his lawyer Reynaldo Robles. Included in said petition was a request that he be allowed to receive visitors in his jail at Fort Bonifacio. On October 17, 2007, the Supreme Court of the Philippines, in an N Bank resolution, directed the Armed Forces of the Philippines (AFP) and Makati Regional Trial Court Judge Oscar Pimentel to comment within 10 days on Senator Antonio Trillanes IV. S. Petition. These requests were however later overshadowed by Trillanes' decision to stage another action against Gloria Arroyo's administration. On November 29, 2007, the senator led a siege, this time at the Manila Peninsula Hotel in Makati. After walking out of his court hearing, he and Brigadier General Danilo Lim led their supporters to the hotel where they staged another coup d'état calling on the public to join them. Six hours later, after military teams surrounded the hotel and armored personnel carriers broke through the hotel's front doors, Trillanes and his companions surrendered. Senate On December 20, 2010, Trillanes was given provisional freedom pending the recognition of the court's amnesty declaration of President Benigno Aquino III. Under Proclamation 75, President Benigno Aquino III granted amnesty to Trillanes and other military personnel who participated in the coup d. At Tats, he was able for the first time to enter the Senate and perform his duties as a senator. After formalizing his re-election bid in October 2012, Trillanes filed his Certificate of Candidacy for 2013 elections at the Commission on Elections Main Office in Manila. He ran under the banner of the Nationalista Party, which was allied with the ruling Liberal Party in the 2013 midterm elections. Trillanes was ranked ninth out of the out of the 12 winning senators. Trillanes was proclaimed senator-elect on May 20, 2013 by the Commission on Elections with an official tally of 14,127,722 votes. In October 2012, Trillanes formalized his re-election bid, filing his certificate of candidacy at the main office of the Commission on Elections in Manila. He ran under the banner of the Nationalista Party, which is allied with the ruling Liberal Party in the 2013 midterm elections. He formed part of the Umbrella Coalition of the Administration-backed senatorial lineup for the 2013 Philippine Senate election known as the Team PNOY. Formally proclaimed as a senator in May 2013, Trillanes was re-elected by 14,127,722 Filipinos as per Comelec's official tally of votes. At the Senate, he is one of the most productive senators in terms of number bills, resolutions and committee reports filed, totaling to 1,109 bills and resolutions, 56 of which have been passed into law from 2007 to present. During the 16th Congress, 2013 to 2016, he ranks first based on the total number of national bills passed into law as principal author, seven bills, national bills passed into law as principal sponsor, nine bills, committee reports filed, 32 bills, nine have been passed into law, 13 have been approved on third reading, 10 are pending for deliberations during the 15th Congress, 2010 to 2013. He ranked first based on the total number of 
national bills as principal sponsor passed into law national bills as principal author passed into law 15th congress in a televised plenary debate in the senate in september 2012 senate president juan ponce and real publicly accused trillanes of working for chinese interest in reference to the territorial dispute between the philippines and china Posing as an informal emissary of the government of Benigno Aquino III, Trillanes allegedly wanted to rein in then Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert del Rosario and prevent the United States from being involved in the regional dispute. Enrile then proceeded to read what he said were notes of Philippine Ambassador to China Sonia Brady about a meeting with Trillanes in Beijing, in which Trillanes allegedly told the Chinese that the Philippines cannot enforce its coastal protection, and that the Philippines does not have any interest in the Scarborough Shoal. Senator Trillanes confirmed that he had been acting as fact-channel negotiator with China for months, keeping then Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert del Rosario out of the loop. He was then charged of treason and espionage in May 2016 for his series of 16 secret meetings with officials in Beijing and providing information which resulted in the immediate occupation of Scarborough Shoal and the Spratly Islands by China in 2012. Vice Presidential Campaign Trillanes declared his intention to run for higher office as vice president in the 2016 national elections. Trillanes started his vice presidential campaign during the MAGDALO Coalition's General Assembly at the Amaranto Sports Complex in Quezon City, and declared his candidacy on October 3. 2015, he reportedly asked his current arch-enemy and incumbent President Rodrigo Duterte as his running mate which the latter refused. Trillanes and the Magdalo Group has formally showed support to the presidential bid of fellow Senator Grace Poe. Trillanes paid several advertisements featuring schoolchildren and snippets of videos of Rodrigo Duterte, including one video showing him dropping the finger, on May 5, 2016 on ABS-CBN, which sparked controversy and adverse reactions. The broadcasts were described as black propaganda. Alan Peter Cayetano petitioned the Taguig Regional Trial Court, and they soon placed a temporary restraining order TRO, to stop the airing of the anti deterred ads for 72 hours. Cayetano told GMA News that the political advertisement was part of a conspiracy devised by the Malacanang and other candidates against Duterte. Trillanes eventually lost the 2016 vice presidential race to Liberal Party candidate Lenny Robredo. Criticism and controversies Rivalry against Duterte Before the 2016 election, he alleged that former Davao City Mayor and incumbent President Rodrigo Duterte had an account in the Julia Vargas branch of BPI allegedly PHP 211M. Likewise President Duterte, alleges that Trillanes closed his accounts in DBS Bank days before going to Singapore and then showed that there were no such accounts. This became a source of polemics in social media such as Twitter and Facebook. Since then, Trillanes become a rival of Duterte. Duterte's common law wife, Honeylet Avancena, defended Duterte against Trillanes. Controversies. On February 13, 2018, Trillanes was declared as persona non grata by Davao city officials. Revocation of amnesty by President Duterte. On August 31, 2018, President Rodrigo Duterte signed Proclamation No. 572, revoking Trillanes's amnesty. Duterte ordered the Department of Justice and the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP to review all criminal cases in relation to the 2003 Oakwood Mutiny and 2007 Peninsula Siege. Shortly after that, Trillanes told to the reporters that he would not evade the case and he also told to Duterte that he is not afraid of him. The Amnesty Proclamation No. 50 was granted by then President Benigno Aquino III and later issued Proclamation 75 superseding Proclamation No. 50 back in 2010. On September 7, the DOJ filed the application for an arrest and hold departure against Trillanes and it was signed at Makati Regional Trial Court Branch 150 by Acting Prosecutor General Richard Fadalon as very urgent. Opposition politicians 
politicians expressed condemnation over the revocation of the amnesty. Magdalo representative Gary Alejano, who also lead the mutiny with Trillanes, calls it political persecution of Duterte critic, and he also slammed Duterte for what was called a clear act of revenge against Trillanes. Akbayan representative Tom Villarin called the revocation highly preposterous and clearly a political vendetta. On September 7, former Solicitor General Florin Hilbe said in an interview that the decision against Trillanes is similar to the case of Senator Leila de Lima, who was detained for allegedly violating the drug trafficking law almost a year and a half ago. Supporters of Trillanes gathered outside the Senate and held a vigil. Duterte severely lambasted Trillanes by describing the latter as corrupt and accused him of abandoning the military for his personal interests. On October 22, the regional trial court in Makati denied the government's petition to have Trillanes arrested, saying the coup d'etat case against the senator was already dismissed on September 21, 2011, and that the dismissal was final and executory. Personal life Trillanes is married to Arlene G. Orejana, a former member of the Philippine Military Academy Corps of Professors, a PMA class 1997 graduate herself, and together they have had three children, Francis Seth, Thea Estelle, and Alan Andrew, who died at 21 days old. In 2014, he attended the National and International Security Program at the Harvard Kennedy School in Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA. References External links Official website the Trillanes Papers Profile of Antonio Trillanes Timeline, Oakwood Mutiny Oakwick Mutiny Backgrounder Destabilization efforts against the Arroyo administration Profile, Antonio Fuentes Trillanes IV Profile, Brigadier General Danilo Lim Transcript, Statement of Brig. General Danilo Lim, Magdalo Soldier Sunstar, Manila Peninsula Rebellion Timeline Supremacourt.gov.ph Trillanes v. Pimentel, Gr. No. 179817, June 27, 2008